Babysitter and child care safety. Leaving the kids with someone else, even if it is a parent, a sitter, or a lifelong friend, is one of the hardest parts of becoming a parent. For many, however, it is a reality as life after baby returns to normal and the tasks necessary to lead a productive life rectify their way back into your mind. Jobs, business meetings, and more can require the need for a babysitter or child care. Don't beat yourself up for needing to leave your child. Studies show that children who are able to attend daycare or stay with a babysitter have better socialization skills as well as a higher vocabulary. While it is nerve-wracking, know that your bundle of joy is still thriving while you are away. Additionally, you can take extra precautions to protect your baby or child at any age, even when that means they're in the care of sometimes someone you don't really know. How to find the best child care or sitter for your child. No one will ever love your child like you. Accept the fact and get on with life. This statement doesn't imply that you can't find someone that is going to care for your child just as you would and treat them with the love they need. But we all know that the love a parent has for their child is one so very unique and isn't something you can feel until the blood is your own. Finding an outstanding babysitter that will take the best care of your child can be done when you take the time to find that person. This person is out there, and it's your job to find them. Start the process of choosing a sitter or daycare for your child as early as possible. It sometimes takes a bit of time to find someone that is good enough to care for your child, and this isn't a process that you want to rush to get done. It is recommended that you spend at least a couple of months comparing the different sitters, performing background checks, and getting to know the person and facility on a more in-depth level. When selecting a babysitter, the following information is important to evaluate before choosing. Conduct interviews with different sitters. After you decide whether you want care to take place in your home or at another location, prepare a list of questions that you want to ask potential sitters. Create a list for each prospective sitter that you interview so you can keep up with the information they provide. Ask for references and don't be afraid to check them. Any good sitter can provide three to four references. Call them and ask their opinion of the sitter. Searching for a babysitter within your community is much easier. Ask friends and family members who they trust to care for their child. Oftentimes, you'll get great information here that may help you find somebody easily. Check with the church that you attend for a sitter recommendation and be sure to inquire with coworkers. Experience is important when hiring a babysitter. Obviously, you want someone to care for your child who understands that sometimes caring for a child is a tiring task. You need a sitter that has shown they can handle even the most difficult of times with patience and the experience they offer certainly matters. No matter how much experience the babysitter has or how many excellent references on the resume, at the end of the day, what really matters is the way your child responds to the sitter and your personal thoughts and opinions. Your gut instinct is usually right, so this is the time to go with it. If your child doesn't like the sitter, especially if he is typically friendly with other people, or you get bad vibes, there is probably a reason, and the search for the perfect sitter should continue. Child care costs vary from city and state and provider to provider. A private sitter is usually the most affordable of the options and daycare the most expensive. The costs of the sitter are always important to consider when making your sitter selection. What is a typical day like with the sitter? A structured environment is one in which most children thrive. You want them to be in an environment with other kids where they learn and have the chance to play and interact and have fun with people that provide them with positivity, encouragement, and lots of smiles. Be sure that the sitter provides you with a weekly agenda so that you know exactly what your child is doing while you are away. Be sure to also ask for a weekly menu so you can rest assured that your child is eating healthy. How do you feel about the sitter? It is not easy to leave your child and worry and wonder all day. How does the sitter handle your worries and help them subside? Sending photos and daily reports is one way that a good sitter will help you feel assured of the care they're providing to your little one. Is the sitter willing to follow any specific rules or expectations that you have for your child? Obviously, a sitter that isn't willing to meet your needs and requests isn't one that you want to work with. How does the sitter interact with your child? A positive relationship is so very important for your child to have with the sitter. While some parents say it makes them a bit jealous, seeing that your child feels safe and secure is something that should make you proud. Children and Stranger Safety 
Talking to your child about strangers and the potential dangers they pose without scaring them isn't always easy, especially when it's a younger child. Yet it is so very important that you take every step possible to ensure that your children know who a stranger is and how to avoid any dangerous circumstances with this person. There are many ways to make such a talk with your children easier, no matter what their age. Around age four or five, children find their personality and their voice, and while they're busy on the playground making the acquaintance of kids, they're also vulnerable to strangers that might not have the best intentions for them. Even those we put our trust in can turn out to be the people that we should have avoided at all costs. How can you teach a child who has little idea of the dangers of the world to stay safe when interacting with other people, yet still trusting of people such as police officers, teachers, and workers at the supermarket? First and foremost, ensure that your child knows that there are both good and bad people in the world. While we trust some people more than others, anyone can do things that hurt, and it is never okay for this to happen. Your child should learn respect of themselves for an early age and be unafraid to talk to you. Remember, we talked about earlier about keeping secrets. Stress the importance of telling you any secrets adults tell them to keep. When your child knows what is and what is not acceptable, they are able to better determine when a situation may not be exactly what it should be. Sexual Predator Dangers Another uncomfortable yet important topic to discuss with your children is sexual predators. While statistics show an improvement in sexual predators today than many years ago, there is no question there is a reason for any parent to worry and to have this much-needed talk with their kids. Girls are most at risk for sexual predators, but boys are never excluded from the dangers. Children as young as five or six can understand that no one should touch them in their special private parts. Abduction Prevention Checklist Being unable to find your child and know that he or she is missing is a fear that all parents share and worry over. There are a few things that you can do to help prevent the risk of your child being abducted. Compile a checklist containing all of the items that are listed in the Child Security eCourse in the Abduction Prevention Checklist chapter and sections to ensure that you're well prepared to keep your children safe and secure. How to talk to your child about safety. A few tips to make the talk with your child a bit more comfortable for both or all of you. Don't be afraid to talk to your children. Remember that it is better to have informed children than to be sorry after the fact. Speak to your children calmly. Do not use scare tactics in order to get your kids to listen to you. Inform your children of the different ploys and techniques commonly used by predators, such as needing directions to a nearby location, helping finding a pet, or something similar. Your child should clearly understand that adults do not depend upon children for information. Teach your children that it is okay to say no. Learn how to understand when something doesn't feel right and run away in a situation that causes discomfort. Talk to your kids about various situations and scenarios that may very well become a reality in their life and the proper ways to handle themselves in such a situation. As a parent, you should be vigilant about protecting your kids, learn who their friends are, and get to know families a little more. If something doesn't seem right, there is probably a reason. Be wary of an adult that seems to want to spend a good amount of time with a teen, talks sexually to or about a child or a teen, singles your child out, or acts in any other suspicious manner. Let your child know that they can always talk to you and listen to what they have to say. Check sexual predator registries regularly and be sure that you're aware of the people that are around your kids at school, on their sports teams, etc. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.